Oh man, I made a ton of mistakes on this car audio build that I did 14 years ago. First off, this was a fiberglass build, so I cut my wood pieces for the skeleton to a unique shape, but I did it with just a jigsaw and the sides didn't match each other perfectly. Today, I would use router templates along with a flush trim bit on the router to make sure that those shapes perfectly matched from side to side. When it came to the inside of the box, I did not incorporate any internal bracing, which means the enclosure likely flexed, which lost acoustic energy. It's always important you have to add that internal bracing. I also added these unique inserts on the top of the enclosure just to make the box more appealing, but I didn't take the time to properly use body filler and sanding techniques to get this looking perfect. Now everybody makes mistakes, it's what we learn from that matters. Over on my YouTube channel, Car Audio Fabrication, I just went through all the pictures for this build, analyzing what I would do differently today. Come on over and check it out.